The second ASABE Historic Landmark was designated in recognition of the location of the founding of ASAE on December 27, 1907. The following question and statements come from the book Seven Decades That Changed America, A History of the American Society of Agricultural Engineers, 1907-1977, written by Robert E. Stewart. Was ASAE born because the founder societies failed to perceive the potential of engineering in agriculture? There is truth in this tradition, but probably the diversity of agriculture's engineering requirements could be met only by a new society that could put it all together. They understood that such societies can help engineers develop their professional specialty, aid their own professional life, better serve an industry, and benefit the public. One such engineer was J. Brownlee Davidson. Davidson was professor and head of the Agricultural Engineering Department at Iowa State College. During 1906 and 1907, he corresponded and held small meetings with counterparts at other colleges. These efforts culminated in the December 1907 meeting. Eighteen charter members formed an association they called the American Society of Agricultural Engineers, and elected Davidson president. The name was questionable because several charter members were Canadians. Note at least one student, E.A. White, center for the University of Illinois football team, was among the group. The Constitution created read, The object of this society shall be to promote the art and science of engineering as applied to agriculture. Eventually, a 102-page Transactions of the Meeting was prepared. While this small group came prepared to do a great work, social life was not neglected. The original Constitution provided specifically for social intercourse. A banquet for the hard-working charter members was given by Bascom B. Clark, editor and publisher of the American Thresherman and Gas Review whose pages were first to announce the birth of the Infant Society. Writing many years later, Clark recalled that the banquet was quite convivial. In fact, some members were not as dignified as he had expected professors to be. So a name, a purpose, standards of membership, a leadership and committee structure, an archives, and a champagne supper came to pass at Madison. All these, except perhaps the last, are necessary elements of an engineering society.